So this is the piece we're going to attempt to restore. It's gorgeous, and some people would just leave it exactly how it is. But as you can see, it needs a lot of TLC. One of the other things that we know we're going to do is replace this back panel. It's completely falling apart. And I got a piece of underlayment, just hardwood underlayment, super thin, probably quarter inch, half inch maybe at the most. 20 bucks. that back panel and we have replaced it with a piece of underlayment to fit. So there was a lot of decorative reconstruction that we had to do including this entire piece which I actually used wood filler needing to dry phase right now and then we'll, I'll, I'll sculpt it basically to match the other side. We just filled in all the spots. And we did the same thing. This is how far we've gotten today. We did the same thing up here with the wood filler. Can you see? And then we just sanded it down. All the little spaces. Sanded it down and then we'll paint it. We filled in the top. That's what we've done today. This is day one of this project. So we've done some more repair and we've had a chance to let some of the wood filler dry. Now I'm going to start cleaning up everything. This thing is still really rough. The top's been filled and sanded down. I'm almost ready to paint. That's going to be the biggest challenge right there is just Lesson just learned about this wood filler. It dries like cement, um, even harder than plaster, and it sticks good. So if you're very liberal, you will sand for a very long time. Like I was very liberal here, and it is like sanding wood when it dries. If you're trying to shape it, you're gonna have to either carve it with a knife, which is what I did. I got out my 
handy old Swiss Army. Because I've had to actually cut some of this away because it's going to take forever to sand it down. So that's just a note about this extremely awesome stuff. So since we had success on the decorative piece in the front, we decided to fill in some missing portions of the bottom of this leg. And unfortunately I didn't video it beforehand, but this one was missing two-thirds. So we'll see how that turns out. So we've started painting it. This is a chalk paint. We're doing um, it's like an eggshell white. Old white. An old white, an antique white. And then we're gonna go over the top of it with some wax. It's kind of like a cream colored wax over all of the detailed portion. So, but I just wanted to show you how it's coming along. It looks so good. Oh, and this has been filled in on the top. So basically, holes and gaps. It looks so good. So we have painted this with Annie Sloan chalk paint. We used uh, an old white. And then we put a layer of the clear wax over all of it. And then since we don't want to go very, very dark, we're only using um, a little bit of the dark wax. So we mix three, approximately three teaspoons of this with one teaspoon of this. And we came up with this. We mixed it on the plate. And so it's going to take on its own personality. You can put on as much or as little as you want. You want to make sure you get it into the little crevices and smear it around and do it in a way where you can get it out if you really have deep grooves in there. So this is a coat of the dark and the light wax mixed together and we're still working on the drawers and the doors but as you can see we've left a lot behind. the texture of the paint in there. It's picked up a lot of the wax, which is beautiful. All right, here it is. It's done. We did all of the wax finish on it. So it gives it that nice antique look. If you have any questions, make sure you post below. Uh, you can ask a little bit more about the waxing that we did. Hope you enjoyed this.